hi viewers welcome back to my channel this is elegant fashion tutorial in today's video we'll be making a beautiful butterfly top if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i publish another video now let's get started okay this is the material because of this design here, I want this side to be the front part of the top. I want it to have this design here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to measure. Now the shoulder, we say is 8.5 here for the shoulder measurements. Now, I'll cut the front and back together so the shoulder is 8.5 here 8.5 plus i want it to be exactly on this design you may where the design starts is 12 so i'll be using instead of 15 i'll be adding 12 inches to it that is i'll be working with this design here now I told us earlier that this top is a free top. You can make it within within five minutes enough, ten minutes enough for you to make it. This now, remember the hips measurement is forty. This is forty divided into twenty four give us ten. This is ten, and I'll be adding another 10 inches here look at another 10 inches here so we are working with this and this design so the next what we need here is a very simple top i will measure out the armhole here i'll be working with 10 inches for the armhole this 10 inches for the armhole then because i'll be using this design what i will use this is 10 inches here i'll be marking out 10 inches here from this point 10 inches okay. then i'll extend it to because i want it when you put the belt it will hold it so i'll be adding I'll be extending it to seven, seven inches. Yeah, that's it. This is the ten. Yeah, so I just have a straight line here. Then this I have to measure out two inches this side. Just join it to this point. So here now, I'll be cutting this off. So that when you put it on, it will be something like a flay stop. It will be flay. Now the neckline, this is the neck. I'll be using this side with, it will be three by three inches. Because I want I want the front to be lower than the back. So if you want the front to be lower than the back, you can open it up to extend the neck at the front side. But I will be measuring three inches here. Three inches here. Then I can go deep to five inch inches can make it round can make it any length you want it this is five inches but because i want the front and back to be the same i want to add this three and a half because it will not have a zip, it will not have any opening. It's just normal, no opening. 
So let me make it three and a half here. And this is five, five and a half. Because I want to cut it together, both front and back. So that by the time I fold it with bias, by the time I fold it, it may go deeper so to six inches. So that's why I'm using that five and a half inches so that it will not be too deep. Now the downside, if you like, you can make it to have a circular form. But I, I will just curve it to reach this side. Just have to make it to be curved. Naturally curve it to have a curved shape. And this side, I will make use of this design. I have to trim it. Then here I cut this off. Carefully cut. Okay, guys, this the shape okay this is the shape this is how the top will be by the time i use a belt i'll be using it to look like this is the shape it will look like to have something of butterfly shape to to have butterfly shape to be something of this nature then i'll use belt to tie it so we are done with the top if you like you can use stone to design this now for you to sew this this is very simple what you use this is the back now use bias and turn the neck i don't think it needs a facing but if you want to use a facing fine but to me i would prefer to use a bias to turn the neck round then the way we place it here if you want to so you just run a stitch like this straight this line run it up down. If you want, you can leave this downside and use industrial weaving. You can weave it. If you prefer, you can weave the downside and just run a stitch on this. Because of this design, I'll be using industrial weaving for this. So, and what I will do is just to run a stitch straight like this, stretch on this side. And the downside, because I want it to be like this, I'll be using an industrial weaving to weave the mouth. That's what I'll be using. But if you like, you can use a bias. And but why I don't want to use it? Because of this design here. Or if you want, you can still use the bias this side and weave the mouth. So that's how to. So it is very simple and easy, but creative. This is how the top will look like. You can see how lovely it is. You can see the sleeve. You can wear it free if you want to use a belt like this. Make it see how lovely to look like. I see the sleeve, the designs, and the back. I see the back, how it looks like. You can use stone to design this or pearls. If you like, you can leave it this way. 
it's still okay. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video. And see you on my next video. Keep watching Elegant Fashion Tutorial. Bye.